But out of the other Life is Strange games comes out, what was like your favorite kind of Life is Strange? Life is Strange 2. I loved it. Uh, it took a little bit to get into. I think uh, I don't I don't really like Daniel. I, I hated Daniel, actually. <laughs> I, he, he became a little asshole in my game. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome on into another awesome episode of Behind the Voice, because I'm joined by Katie Bentz, who, uh, who voiced uh, uh, such an incredible character as Steph in Life is Strange True Colors. Really enjoyed it. Um, it's probably after Life is Strange 1, I would say Life is Strange True Colors come into my Life is Strange list, I guess, uh, because I just love Life is Strange True Colors so, so much. I love that. That makes me really happy to hear. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's so, it's so funny because when after playing Life is Strange True Colors and after playing the, the DLC as well, I really, for some reason, I really, really wanted to hope if a person like Katie was like in real life present because I would love to hang out with that person. It was like in such a way. I, I was like, how is this happening, man? I'm like, it is how it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's uh it was i'm just so grateful to be able to have played such an amazing character like i am just like i don't even know like it's just it's beyond me uh and you know uh, as you I, I think know the narration for the audiobook i got to do which is just incredible so yeah. like i've been with this character for six years and it's like wild to me and i just I don't know. I'm just like, okay, like putting myself out to the universe, you know, like, can we keep her going? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. Speaking of audiobook, like, how did that even happen? Like, it's so crazy. First of all, Steph is having her own audiobook. You're narrating. Yeah. It. I mean, I didn't know it was going to happen. I, they don't, you know, like the, the companies and stuff, they don't, they just do their own thing. And then we just find out. <laughs> yeah. Like I found out that the book was happening. The novel was being written the same day everybody else found out on Twitter. Oh. I, was, I saw it and I was like, they're making a novel about Steph. And I was like, wait a second, they do audiobooks. And then I started messaging um, all of my contacts. And I was like, how do I get on this? I need to do the audiobook for it. I need to do the audiobook. And, uh, you know, they were also rooting for me to do the audiobook as well. And so it was just a matter of just like getting in contact and just waiting until they were going to, you know, start recording for it. But yeah, they messaged me, I think, at the the at the end of December, I oh. think, is when they messaged me. And then they got me yeah, scheduled in. Um, we've been shooting it this month. And so my last day of pickups is tomorrow for it. So oh. very stoked about it. Yeah, that is exciting. Five bucks, right? keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. I just cannot believe that Steph, for a character who I saw in Before the Storm first, is in the game and True Colors got a DLC and I was getting like an audiobook. It's such an insane, like, what do you think of Steph like growing literally oh my gosh. from there it's to It's amazing. Now? Oh, yeah. And like this book, too, like I'm learning so much about her as a character. Uh, you learn so much more about her in this book. You learn more about just like how she is as a person, just how she deals with her emotions, what goes on in her mind. Um, and it's 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 wild just reading it, you know, doing the audiobook for it, the narration for it and thinking back to her in True Colors, thinking back to her, you know, in Before the Storm and knowing that okay like i have all this information like i know how she thinks now and now i know how she probably thought when she met alex so it's such a cool it's going to be really cool for for fans to be able to explore that character more and then to go back and replay the games with her you know idea of thinking in yeah. the back of your mind oh yeah, yeah. i'm, I'm ex actually excited to get to you know listen to the audiobook i you know, really cannot believe like okay steph is getting an audiobook and it was like it feels yeah, it feels like it's another game, honestly. Like when you're <laughs> listening to it, it just feels like, I mean, I know I was reading it, but it feels like it's going to be just another game. Like, you know, just a long winded, like non cinematic, just audio <laughs> thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like an audio only game. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. so cool that uh, yeah. this character has gone for so long. And I'm, I'm really, as I said before, like, can this character go forever? Like, I would love to see this character. To I be, want her to. You know, like a protagonist, like really for a full on Life is Strange game, like keep her as the center of the Life is Strange game and like build things around her would be so cool because I really yeah. love the character. Very interesting character. I, I really enjoyed her throughout, even before the storm. I really enjoyed her then. 
and I really even more enjoyed her because she was explored so more. Uh, and mm. like, man, I just I don't know. Like, it's something about Steph that really draws me. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's like, it's so me crazy. Me too, me too. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I mean, I might, might be a little biased, but like, she's my favorite as well, you know? <laughs> she's just so cool. Dude, this job you got me. It's great. Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously, and I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one. Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? When the DLC actually came out, I was not expecting all this DLC about Steph. Uh, we get to know so much about her. Uh, we get to know her, like, kind of connection with the previous games. Like, how is that, like, like you know, doing a DLC after, like, the whole True Colors, but DLC, like, focused it on, on stuff? <sighs> it was a dream. It was so cool. I mean, that was, like, you know, that at this time now, like, that's her game. Like, that's her little, like, that's her little yeah. slice of Life is Strange, which is, like, so rad. And to know that I was going to be able to dive deeper into her emotions and be able to play her on a, you know, more... A uh, wide variety of motions was just so cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, we shot it during the pandemic. So like it was obviously, you know, the writers and, and directors and everybody had to try to figure out like, how are we going to make this game work in the pandemic with shooting and everything? And I think, you know, they they uh, produce such a unique story and they produce such a unique game uh, for that time. And I think it worked for the time too, because at that time, a lot of people wasn't were inside. A lot of people yeah. were struggling with their own <clears throat> isolation and loneliness. And here you can play a character who uh, is also experiencing that. And so I thought it tied in really well, really nicely. And I'm just honored to be able to have helped bring her even more to life in that DLC. Yeah. I it was such a it was such a fun one. We get to play uh we get to uh you know interact with the new character as well. We get to play uh we get to know her like side of the, of the story. It was so cool and I did not obviously expect that to happen and I really enjoyed it a lot. It was like a very, it was not like you know in life is strange games it's like very supernatural and you know stuff are happening it's like crazy things happening all around. This one was like quite quite low key in some ways and i really enjoyed it it was like so good and i i wanted to go forever <laughs> but it ended i was like oh. uh it kind oh. of felt disappointed after that i'm like oh god damn it uh but you know what was do you have any memories of like of the recording that whole you know all that for the dlc do you have any like favorite memories from from that or maybe from true colors yeah, I think um, just being able to work with such an incredible company, Deck Nine is just some of the best people I've I, like, honestly, the best people I've worked with, the best company I've worked with, like everybody cares so much about what they're producing, what they're making. They care about the fans. They care about the actors. Like there's just so much care there. And as an actor, I feel taking I feel taken care of and um, I feel, you know, supported and and that allows me to be able to bring in my best, you know? Um, so yeah, just being a part of a, an amazing set like that, I think is just something that I took away from that. And I remember, and I hold with me, um, all those people, they're incredible. That's so amazing. Uh, but like, you know, you have, you have stayed with Steph for so long. What is like the one thing that you as a person could relate to Steph? Yeah, I don't, she's so different. She's so different than me um, in a lot of ways, but I think just like not not trying to make things happen um, is something that I can relate to with her um, and that you get to explore that a little bit in the DLC with, you know, she's she's trying to force things into her life and that's just not how life works. And I think, uh, you know, before I got to experience her and even before I got to play the DLC because that was when I really got to see the whole entire thing because I can, you know, do lines and perform something, but I didn't experience it altogether. So yeah. after playing the DLC, I realized, you know, like, yeah, I was trying to force things, you know, and and that's not going to be helpful for me. It's only going to make me sad. It's only going to, you know, be more difficult and, and make other things difficult in my life. And so, yeah, I took that from her and I could relate, you know, being in that position with her um so yeah that's so cool that, that's awesome to hear uh but you know like in the game we have like steph and alex their relationship uh it's like the biggest thing in the game and i enjoyed it so much uh, so like what was it what do you what do you think about this relationship that what what makes it special between alex and steph that they are like so well together 
oh, like, how can I not say anything that relates to the audiobook? Because, <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I have to try to pretend I don't have that information in my brain now. Yeah. Um, um, well, I think the fact that we know from the DLC, um, you know, that Steph has kind of been running away from things, right? Yeah. Running away from uh, the storm and, and what happened there in Arcadia Bay. And uh, I think Alex, in a sense, is also running away from something. And, you know, when you're able to bring, a, a, they're able to relate to that together, I think, and they can find a home within themselves. And, you know, nothing's perfect. And I'm sure, you know, there has been struggles and things that have happened. And, um, you know, between them as, as a couple, if that is what you so choose for them to be. Um, but I think in the end, like they can feel each other's pain a little bit. They have empathy for each other. Obviously, Alex does for sure. But I think, you know, Steph can have empathy as well for Alex and what Alex has went through. Um, and yeah, I think that that is what makes them so close. Yeah. They've both, you know, lost in a sense. Yeah, they, that's true. That they, they're definitely both lost in some ways. And it's perfect. Like they find each other and then they have this amazing relationship, amazing, you know, bond with each other. It's so cool. And I got to see like the behind the scenes of, of you and Erica, you know, like that particular moment when you guys first met, the characters first met. I saw that behind the scenes. It was so yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. <laughs> How was like, you know, uh, doing motion capture recording for these characters and then like how was how was that experience like yeah i mean it's like an actor's dream like especially when you're a voice actor i think it's an actor a voice actor's dream to be able to perform full body mm. uh your character um because you can bring more uh more to the character your performance is not just your voice you're bringing your body you're bringing your face you're bringing everything yeah. to it and so it connects a lot better too i think it's just overall better for the entire production. It's overall better for the animators and the directors. And you're not piecing together somebody else's body with a voice because their body might have been doing something else when they were speaking the lines that, you know, aren't even going to be heard. Yeah. Um, so it just makes the overall performance so much better. And uh, it was just so rad. It's so cool. Um, you know, just being able to jump into the mocap suit and see yourself like on the the screen. Like they have a, they would have a TV screen in the back and you could see yourself moving as the character in the space it was just a really unique experience and i really hope that i can do it again one day that is amazing because i really enjoyed watching the behind the scenes especially especially that moment when you guys the characters actually first meet it's such a cool moment i really i really enjoyed that and looking at that behind the scenes okay okay this is how it was done this is how it it was all it is like it's so much imagination uh required to have that of the shots done uh, so, you know, kudos to you guys. You guys done like insane job on that. So again, kudos. Oh. It's it's incredible. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I have like a very, uh, you know, like obviously Life is Strange 1 for me. It was like a big game for everybody. For a lot of people, it was a great game. Um, but if you, your character Steph and Alex were kind of in a situation of Max and Chloe, and then you had the choice as Steph has the choice of whether to save Alex or to save Arcadia Bay, then what would you as Katie would do? Oh, me as Katie would yeah. do the same exact thing I did in the in, in Liz one. I would save Arcadia Bay. I'm so sorry. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just, it's just, uh, again, it's me on a whim thinking as Katie. If Katie was in the actual position where like I needed to save either a, a loved one or a whole town, I don't know what I would do. Uh, but Katie playing a video game, I'm going to save more people. <laughs> I'm going to save more people um, and I'm going to. Yeah. So but Steph. I think I think Steph would save Alex mm. or like if Ste if it was up to Steph, I think I think Steph would save Alex. Definitely. I think in an irrational mindset, she would just choose Alex right away. Yeah. And then maybe she would regret it later. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I would I would do the same thing. I just I just am like, there's one person or you could keep like a, a thousand people alive. I'm just like, I'm sorry. Like, I hope this one person understands. And the, But again, I don't know what I would do in a real situation. Yeah. No idea. Real situation. Nobody nobody knows. But like, at, yeah. least, at least in real games, you can take someone off. <laughs> you can just like, yeah, I'm it doesn't sorry. matter. It's not it's not freaking real. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, Alex. You have to go. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. Don't tell Erica. She might be upset with me. Yeah, she may be upset. I gotta take this <laughs> away from her. 
I gotta keep this far <laughs> away. Uh, but like, uh, you know what? Okay, so for for you, I know like you're kind of like uh, in terms of bias, in terms of like obviously, you have to stay in true colors is like your your most favorite or important game but out of the other life is strange games comes out what was like uh your favorite kind of life is strange life is strange too oh i know it's surprising a lot of people are surprised when i say that i love that game though um i loved it uh it took a little bit to get into i think the the first couple episodes were a little slow because they Mm. were just kind of like you know uh laying out the laying out the the landscape and everything but um yeah no i i love the two brothers i love the characters um i don't i don't really like daniel i i hated daniel actually <laughs> I, he he became a little asshole in my game can no. i i'm so sorry he no became problem. a jerk in my game um because i was a jerk to him but anyways <laughs> i i love the relationship i think it's a very unique relationship i i like all the different things that they were met with along the way in their journey um i thought it was i just thought it was done really well the music in that game um mm, yeah. is my favorite in all of the life history i don't know actually bts has uh daughters really good i don't know it's a close tie there's just a lot of good music um in life is strange too and then the way that they use the music like the certain songs and the certain scenes like uh, something that has stuck with me out of all of the different life is strange games in terms of like a, a beautiful cinematic um that was met with music was in life is strange too and it was when daniel is waking up after he's murdered like all of the people at the weed farm oh, oh yeah and it's okay. that milk and bone i think it's natalie milk and bone mm, and it's I just so. like I never meant to hurt you. And you're just like looking at this destruction. <laughs> Please never go away. And you're like, oh my God, Daniel, you don't even know what you're doing. And you just killed all these people. It's just yeah. like that stuff right there. I appreciate a lot. So yeah, I like that game. Yeah, actually, I, I actually enjoyed that game. I know, I know like for me, I, 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 I would always rank Life is Strange 2 at the last. And it's not that it's a bad game. It's just like, I like the stories of the other games a little bit more, but I really mm-hmm. was very... Um, very much more intense uh in terms of like you know the the, the relationship and what was going on with with those mm-hmm. guys especially towards the end i was like this is where we're going like it was it was a very intense one i did not ha- i did not know what to select and how to end this oh one. yeah and it was very bad. morally intense yeah, yeah. It, it was like bad ending for either either way whatever you chose it like it was like it was, it was not the greatest ending like for any of them like it just no, my yeah i i think i had a better ending but like still like messed up yeah. they both my my ending was they both ended up in mexico together oh still better though <laughs> yeah it's still better for sure but you know they turn they, they just didn't live the best life after that but at least they were both alive i guess yeah, both alive both so. together from me yeah yeah i think i so. think uh his brother died i was like that's great good job me <laughs> just, that's... which one daniel yeah that's fine. <laughs> Sorry. Daniel can go. He was, he was, he was so <laughs> annoying in my game. And then he started like just being a jerk everywhere. And I was like, whatever, dude. So you can go. <laughs> yeah. You're the first exactly. one to go. Gosh. Damn. Yeah. But yeah, it was so intense, especially at the end. Like, yeah. I mean, for at least for my ending, like them, like, yeah, just like the police and they're having to cross the border. Like it was wild. I was like, holy crap. That was a great game. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a really fun game. Uh, do you have any idea if there's gonna be any other Life Strange games coming up? Because there's always expectations of like, oh, maybe there's another Life is Strange. Because I'm obviously we really want another Life is Strange. But do you have like any? Yeah, idea? I want another Life is Strange <laughs> game, hundred percent. Yeah, I hope so. I hope they bring another one out here. I would love that. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah, I would love that. I think that. Honest, I mean, I think just as much as everybody else in the fandom, like I would think it'd be silly if they just stopped. Like yeah. they have such a great thing going, you know. <laughs> so hopefully they're still making more. Yeah, I really hope that they're making more because they have those those three games have been really so interesting. And especially True Colors for me, like from Life is Strange One, how it looked visually to to True Colors looked so much more better, and like it just so it just looks so cool and. Uh, I I gotta say when I first saw Alex in in the game, I really loved the hairstyle. I was like, "This is great! I love it! It's, <laughs> it's so cool!" The hairstyle did it for you. I love that. Yeah. 
Uh, but you mentioned like uh, you know you you would love to do like more games. Are you, are you actually doing any games? I know you cannot talk about it. Yeah, yeah. So I have a game that got pushed just because they're trying to make it like awesome and you know bug free and all that. Yeah. Um. But hopefully it'll be coming out in the next couple of months. It's called Annie and the AI. It's a little two D puzzle game. Um. And I play Annie, and I'm excited about it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, that should be really cool. And then I am in two other games that I can't speak of yet, but uh, hopefully I can soon. Yeah, I actually saw the announcement of Annie and the AI. I was like, oh, oh that's interesting. And I'm, I'm yeah. really interested to, to, to see how this game is and what this game is all about uh, when it comes yeah. out. I, I thought it's going to come out this month. But I think, as you said, it got pushed. It away, got pushed, which yeah, is great. Like pushed. at least they can like work on it and like make sure that it mm -hmm. comes out in the best way possible. But I'm super excited exactly. for that. Me too. Me too. I'm very excited for it. Yeah, it's it's awesome to be like in another game. So yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, but one 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 thing that really is insane and incredible for you is like that your Twitch streams. They have been doing it for so long. You started from 2017. And from then you you have like twenty thousand followers now, and you have like Twitch partner, and you have such an incredible community, and you have done so many awesome charity streams also. And like, what has been what has it been like like from twenty seventeen till now? This incredible journey for you. It's wild to think that I've been streaming for over six years. <laughs> like that just blows my mind because streaming is man, like it's a it's it's a whirlwind. It's a lot of work and a lot of effort, and it's exhausting. But like you look back at it all, and like I've grown this community and, and the community has helped me grow the community into just this amazing place for so many people to feel welcomed in yeah. and then on top of that like we can just like have fun we can also you know raise money we've raised uh like eighty four thousand dollars for charity which is so Incredible. cool and i'm just like yeah I'm, I'm my goal is to reach a hundred thousand this year so i'm really hoping that we can um, but yeah, it's just been an incredible journey and I'm just so grateful and I wouldn't be a Twitch streamer if it wasn't for the Life is Strange franchise because I got that. I mean, I originally like, yeah, I got cast in that and then started streaming on Twitch because of the game. Mm. So I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Life is Strange and if it wasn't for Steph. So yeah. 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 It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. I, I try to tune in whenever I can to, especially in my time uh time zone yeah. and all that stuff i try always try to tune in and it's so it's such an incredible time you're singing uh sometimes it's like it's such an awesome place to be it's like if anybody's feeling down i feel like if they watch you watch your singing streams watch your like super active streams if they will like have a great blast of a time i really enjoy it. all of that thanks oh. yeah it's always so cool to see you in the chat i'm always like hey <laughs> <laughs> like the last couple of months i'm like i'll respond to you i promise i'm so sorry <laughs> It's it's hard. I don't know how you you're able to like you know the chat is going on and like you have so much things to do, but you also have to. It's like I don't know how you do it, but it's. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, the best. It's it's a hard job, really, uh, to, to to figure all of this out and like to to do it every single, uh, you know, week and every single maybe you have your schedule based on your schedule. It's, you know, kudos to you to to do that and then to also do the voice acting and yeah, you know mixing you. all that together. It's such a hard thing to do. So. Yeah, congratulations on that. And congratulations for reaching <laughs> all the goals. And I'm pretty much sure that you'll be able to reach 100, 100K by, by oh, this year. It... I hope so. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. It's such it's so much freaking money it's, that we've raised. It's incredible. Yeah. And that was like within the last three years because that's when I really started doing charity streams. Mm -hmm. So within three years, we've raised that much money so far. It's crazy. That is crazy. And that is so incredible. But uh, in the end... Yeah. I, I would just want to say thank you so much for for taking the time for joining this for the, for this chat. Talk about Steph. Talk about yeah your the game that you've been and for the audio book. I'm super excited for people to like check it out. I want to check it out. It's, it's gonna be super exciting. I cannot Yay. wait. Yeah, you'll have to let me know what you uh, think about it after you hear it or read it, whatever whatever you do. <laughs> oh, one hundred percent. Well, thank you once again for joining. This has been yeah. awesome. I, I thank really you so much it. for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this. This yeah. is awesome.